What's going on YouTube? Welcome back for Vlogmas Day 14. I'm cold, if you can't tell. Oh my God, it's so not cool how cold it is. Okay, moving forward. We're going to the post office right now. I'm gonna be sending my clients package. These are Beats by Dre. She was the first place transformation in my September Arcade Fit eight week challenge and she won a pair of Beats by Dre. So I'm super excited to be sending that off to her. A little bit late from all my travels, but she should get it before Christmas. If you guys are wanting to sign up for the first Arcade Fit eight week challenge of January, it starts on January 2nd. I will have the link below so that you guys can read all about that. But that's not what this vlog is about. I'm not trying to push anything on you guys either. It's just one-on-one -on -one training, a little group thing that I do, and I really enjoy it. So let's get the day started. I am gonna go mail that, oh my God. And then I'm going to be going to the gym. We're gonna be training some legs, some cardio, some abs, all that good stuff. So let's go, let's go get warm, okay? Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to another commentary. To start this workout off, I started off with some incline treadmill fast walk and I was feeling really good so I decided to sprint. I know, who does that, right? Just kidding, I'm sure you guys have all experienced that too. I was getting in the groove, 10 minutes had passed and I had an urge to sprint so we did it and I had a really great cardio session. Pre-leg day two, usually I say do cardio after your workout, but hey, if you're craving it before and that's when you know you're gonna be able to give it your all, then do it before. Do whatever works for you, just keep it simple. I like to use the kiss effect, keep it simple, stupid, <laughs> because there's so many ways to overcomplicate things, so do your cardio whenever you feel like it. The first exercise that I did was the incline leg press. I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but my butt is about an inch off the seat, and that's to help my hip flexors. My hips are really bothering me lately, and by having my body an inch off the seat, it was taking off the pressure in my hips and allowing me to press through my glutes while putting the pressure on my back to keep me firmly on the seat. The second exercise that I did was the stationary lunge on the Smith machine. As you can see, I'm bringing my back leg up off the ground and showing you guys that all of the pressure is in my front leg. You can lift it up or you can leave it on the ground. I wanted to show you guys that my front leg was doing most of the work, actually all of the work. And I superset the stationary lunges with these resistance band side to side crab walks. The next exercise that I did was the kneeling hamstring leg curl. This has gotta be my favorite hamstring machine because I like to do single leg because we always have one dominant leg that likes to do most of the work and I know that I do for sure which is why I'm doing a lot of single leg movements so that the weak one isn't overcompensated by the stronger one. This exercise is the single leg push down on the assisted chin up machine. It's a great one to isolate your glutes. Like I've said many times before, make sure that you are always pressing down through your heel, especially in that exercise. That way you will feel the contraction and the isolation as you push down. It's like a variation to a Bulgarian split squat or a step up. Those exercises are great for giving you that shelf booty. This exercise is the glute kickback on the cables. I just looped my foot through one of those little handles while pushing through my heel. That's how you make sure that it doesn't roll off your foot. Make sure you get a good squeeze in the glutes at that top contraction. I superset that with hanging leg raises because I did work some abs into my leg day. This is one of my favorite ab exercises. By the third set, it is definitely hard to lift your legs. For the last leg exercise, I did a seated leg curl drop set. So I did as many reps as I could with a heavier weight and I dropped it down three times. For the last weight, I think I did like 50 pounds and I did 15 to 20 reps. Ooh, it hurt so bad, as you can see from my facial expressions. Ouch, yes. That wraps up the leg day. The next two workouts that you are going to see is to finish off my ab workout. These are Bozu Ball Crunches. 
I really love Bozu Ball Crunches opposed to just crunches on the ground because it gives you a larger range of motion and they make my abs a lot more sore because of that. Make sure that you get a good squeeze in at the top of every rep. So I'm pretty dead. I have one more set of this and then one more exercise. I figured today's exercise workout rather is going to be called how to work your lower body without squats. My hips and my knees are really bothering me so I was doing exercises that don't irritate my hips or my knees and I had a really good workout. So that's what today's workout is. How to work your lower body, how to shape your lower body without squats. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. The last exercise that I did was medicine ball twists. Tips for this exercise is to create a V shape kind of with your body and have your legs up off the ground. Make sure that you engage your core so that's what holds you sturdy and doesn't have you fall over and have the ball touch the ground when you bring it from left to right. That wraps up this commentary. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, it is 10.20 p.m. and I got home long enough ago to eat my last meal, which was egg whites and broccoli. I actually ended up going to a movie tonight with my friend Whitney. We're pretty big homebodies, so every once in a while we like to do something, as in go to a movie, because that gets us out of the house. Today we saw The Office Christmas Party, and it was pretty bad, not gonna lie. We left like a little bit after halfway through. So that was a bust, but that's okay. So that was it for me today. I had an epic workout and I went to the grocery store, got some things to make new granola tomorrow, went to a movie and now I'm gonna work. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to show your support by giving it a thumbs up right now. Do it, subscribe to see more because we're like friends now. We like We love each other. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. 15. 15. Okay, bye. <laughs> 10 a.m. on Wednesday morning. And I wanted to share this with you guys before I posted this vlog. I mastered the granola recipe. It smells so good. I didn't burn it. And big thank you to Ramona for suggesting that I put in the cranberries and raisins after it's cooked. So stoked on this. Told you guys that it would be a good idea. Look at how beautiful this looks. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna put them in some jars and make it all pretty. I did not mean to burn it last time. Thank you guys for having faith in me and all of your support.